If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are not sure if you should work during nurse practitioner school. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some things that you should consider when you're making that decision. All right, let's get into today's video. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lane, and I'm a nurse and nurse practitioner student. And in this video, I'm talking about deciding if you should work during NP school. And I know that this is a big decision for a lot of people, and there's a lot of things that you have to consider when making this decision. And honestly, guys, this is gonna vary depending upon your individual situation. But I'm just gonna talk about some things that you really should keep in mind when you're deciding if your particular job will really fit in NP school. So one thing to consider is your actual program. So if you're gonna do acute care versus primary care, that might determine if you can actually do a certain job. So for acute care, you might be able to do a night shift or weekend shifts while you're trying to do your clinicals. But for primary care, that's usually Monday through Friday, nine to five. And so if your job doesn't allow you to maybe work weekends um, or work nights so that you can be available during those times, then it might get kind of hard. I know most people that are in my program and I'm in a primary care program, most of them have jobs where they can work on the weekends or work nights. And so that allows them the flexibility to have days during the week open for them to do their clinical rotations. It also depends if your program is completely online or if it's in person or if it's hybrid. Um, my program during the pandemic has been kind of both. And I noticed that when it was online, it was easier for me to really finesse my schedule and figure out when I could watch lecture or I could watch a recorded lecture if I couldn't make that specific day. But now we're mostly in person and so it would be very hard with certain jobs, I think, to commit to having those class days off as well as having um, days off for clinical. So it just depends. Another big factor in the decision to work during NP school is your job flexibility. So are you in a job where you have supportive coworkers who will easily swap shifts with you if you find out about an assignment really that you need to get done really quickly or you get your clinical rotation schedule kind of with late notice? Are you in a job where they will work with you and say if you need to have every Friday off for class that they truly will allow you to have every Friday off for class? And kind of like what I was saying before, will your job be flexible to allow you to do weekend options or night shift options um, and work with you because you're in school? It also depends on your family obligations. So what kind of free time do you need to commit to young kids or your partner or maybe being a caregiver to an, um, an elderly parent? So it really depends. If you need extra buffer time in your schedule, then you might have to consider how often Often you really can work to be able to balance all of those things um, because I know that it also is extremely easy to get burnt out when you're trying to work too much or do school too much and so it's hard to find that nice balance but that also depends on your personal obligations and then of course a huge thing is in this is your financial situation so I mean do you have to work to eat I mean I, I, I've also know people who it's like you'll do what you have to do to to live and pay your bills so there are people like that and if you're one of those where you're like well look I don't really have an option so I just gotta work and I feel like in general, you you can you'd be surprised how much you can you can really do um, for a, maybe a couple years if you're getting your MSN. Um, like if you just need to power through. But do I recommend that if you can do something different? Um, I just don't want you to sacrifice your mental health for this. That's my main thing. Where it's like I just know it's so easy to get burnt out. So it. I think certain things can be done, but you have to make the personal decision of like, should it be done? And of course, this whole video, I feel like I'm mostly talking about bedside nursing, but obviously there are other non-bedside nursing gigs that you can get during um, NP school that might have 
more flexibility. And let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see a video about some non-bedside nursing jobs or outpatient nursing jobs that could actually maybe work for you while you're in school. Um, but that is my humble advice, just some things to think about. Again, like I've been saying, I think it's really important to just take care of your mental health and school can get really, really busy. Like I know a lot of people maybe started full time and then halfway through the program they dropped to part time or PRN. Um, and you have to make that decision based off of your particular program and how things progress. Like my program, there comes a point like the last year where you're doing clinical rotations like two or three days at least a week. Um, and so I think it would be very hard to do that plus have a full-time job. Um, I do know some people who do part-time on the weekends um, and then some people even still who do PRN. But again, that really all depends on your individual situation. Those are all of my recommendations of things to factor in when you're making that decision. It can be done, but again, you have to decide if it should be for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please put in the comments below things that you considered when you were deciding if you should work during FNP school or NP school. Um, and please give this video a like and please subscribe if you like this video. I'm gonna have plenty of more content. All right, guys, peace.